Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of the DAN Show, and welcome to my latest 2022 NFL mock draft video. Today, I'm going to break down the Minnesota Vikings and what they will do with the 12th pick in the 2022 NFL draft. But before I get going, if this is your first time here, I've got to ask you one simple question. Do you like football? Because if so, you're in the right place. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Join the growing community of good NFL football fans. We talk all 32 teams. We talk free agency. We talk draft. We talk trades. And I go live every Friday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and join one of the live streams. It's, it's a great time. Now, what do the Vikings do at 12? Uh, first off, in my... Um, mock draft i've made multiple changes i'm going to put a link to that video uh, in the description because if you take a look at the thumbnail it's different than uh, uh my mock draft I've, I've done in the past so take a look at the video uh after the matt ryan trade i've changed up things from 1 to 11. now with the minnesota vikings uh they had mike zimmer there for the last eight years so you got in in uh, kevin o'donnell he was the um Offensive coordinator for the uh, Los Angeles Rams, and he brings him. He brings with him Ed Donatel, the Broncos, uh, former defensive coordinator, uh, meaning that you have a new offensive and defensive scheme that you're bringing to Minnesota. Uh, they signed some new starters on defense via free agency, and they extended Kirk Cousins for one year. So, uh, just at first glance, it really looks like they're trying to run this organization the same way the Rams are run. Uh, basically, you're going to have like the northern uh, Rams here. And, and if you're going to be like the Rams, first things first, you have to fix this defense. Ed Don Donatel, the defensive coordinator uh, now with the Minnesota Vikings, uh, spent the last three years in Denver. But before that, he was with, with uh, Vic Fangio in Chicago. So he has a good feel for the uh, NFC North. Now, when free agency started, uh, Danielle Hunter uh, was on the trading block. Now, He's still with the Vikings, so I think that what you're going to do is you got Daniel Hunter on one side and you got D.J. Wanham, uh, the Vikings' fourth-round pick in uh, 2020, uh, I think are going to be your outside linebackers. It was funny because D.J. Wanham coming out of uh, uh, South Carolina, I actually thought he was more of an outside linebacker, but uh, I think that in this defense he'll flourish. Hunter, when he came out of uh, LSU, I, I also thought was more of a 3-4 outside linebacker, so... Um, I bring this up because in this mock draft, Jermaine Johnson and Trayvon Walker are available, and both these guys I think would be great 3-4 outside linebackers, and, and they have great value uh, here, here at uh, 12, but I think you pass on outside linebacker even though you have great value here. My draft crush, uh, Jordan Davis, would be a great fit here. Uh, but one thing is that when you transition from a 4-3 to a 3-4, uh, the one thing that you can't transition is a zero technique. Uh, you got to add one. Now, they had Michael Carter, who played the zero tech in Baltimore. They brought him here as a free agency uh, un under um, Mike Zimmer, and, and it didn't work out. He was released just a few weeks ago. Now, in both L.A. and Denver, they did run a 3-4 defense, but they did it with smaller uh, quicker defensive front. So even though I absolutely love Jordan Davis, I don't think that's the pick here. Uh, I would love it to, to be the pick here. I'm, I'm a big Jordan Davis fan, but I think in this draft, you attack the secondary. You did lose uh, Xavier Woods uh, in free agency, but in, in this draft, I think that you can find a good replacement in round two. Uh, I personally believe that if Jeff Gladney worked out in Minnesota, there's a very good chance that Mike Zimmer is still the head coach in the Minnesota Vikings. But uh, after after the incident with Gladney and losing him, I think that this is the position that you attack. Uh, one thing that the Rams and the Broncos defenses have a, have in common is that corner uh, has a very high priority. So with the 12th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Sauce Gardner, cornerback out of Cincinnati. In my opinion, uh, the Vikings' uh, draft plan is pretty simple. You stay at 12, and you take the best corner available. Uh, originally, I had Andrew Booth going here, but with Sauce Gardner being available, Sauce Gardner is my number one corner, and I think the Vikings jump at the chance 
uh, to take the six foot three corner out of Cincinnati. I absolutely love his size and his length. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if five years from now, Sauce Gardner is the best corner uh, in all of football. I think that highly of them, and I think the Vikings get one heck of a football player. Now, this is my opinion. This is what I think. I want to hear from you. What do you think? Drop a comment below. What do you want the Vikings to do with the 12th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft? Now, tomorrow, I break down the Houston Texans and what they'll do with the 13th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. But before I go, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. This is a great video, great content. So go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell. And I will see you tomorrow.